Now that we have the windows in this project, the next thing we need to do is add some atrium windows to the back of the building. An atrium window is going to be right here and another atrium window right here, letting in a lot of sunlight into our space as well as projecting a dynamic view outside of the back of our building. To begin with, I'm going to come into our floor plan view here and I'm going to go to our basement view. We're going to add this atrium window in this location. The thing about an atrium window though is it's not actually a window. It's really a series of panels that make up what's called a curtain wall assembly. Now in order to be able to place that, it means because it's not a window and it's a curtain wall assembly, it's going to be located underneath our wall commands. One thing that I want to do first though is I want to make sure that when I place this curtain wall that it's going to be in the right location. So to do that, I'm going to zoom in on this side of my building first, and I'm going to mark where I want my start point of this wall assembly to be located at in our wall. To do that, I'm going to come up here to my Annotate tab, and I'm going to pick on Detail Line. Next, I'm going to select on the structural face of this wall and come straight over 7 inches. I'm next going to move to straight up here. Now I know that my wall is going to start right here at this location. It gives me a nice return on my foundation. Uh, it's going to, so I'm still going to have a nice, strong, sturdy foundation wall right here. But at the same time, I'm going to have a break in my foundation wall for where that curtain wall assembly is going to be from here over to this point right here. So my next step is going to be to actually draw that wall in. So to do that, I'm going to come up here in my Home tab, and I'm going to choose on Wall because it is a curtain wall assembly. Underneath my Type Selector list, I'm going to select on Residential Atrium. You could call it a window or a wall, but it is a wall. Underneath the base constraints, I do want this atrium window to be able to sit on my basement floor area. So the base constraint should be Basement, but the base offset shouldn't be 8 foot. It should be 0, so it's setting directly on top of that basement Floor. The unconnected, that's for the height of this particular window or wall assembly, should be up to the top of the foundation wall. The top offset should be zero, so that's okay. Next, in order for this wall assembly to be able to cut itself out of this wall, I have to make sure that I don't place it right here or I don't place it right here. Usually the closer to the middle of this wall that you get, the more likely it is that this wall assembly is going to be able to cut its material out, just like a door or a window cut its material out of the walls. So whenever I see this dashed line here, I'm going to come to where that dashed line and this line that we drew just a minute ago are lined up with one another. And I'll go ahead and click right there. Next, I'm going to move over to my left. And in this case, I can see that my window, and it's kind of a gray line, and I'll move up just a little bit so you can see how it's following my cursor. It's currently on the underneath side of this dash line. I really want it to be toward the outside of my building, so I'm going to hit the space bar in order to flip it to the other side. I want this to be 22 feet 6 inches long. So I'm going to type in 22 feet 6 and hit the Enter key in order to draw this wall assembly in. Now I have my wall drawn in the proper location. I no longer need these reference lines that I drawn. Technically, they're detail lines. So I can go ahead and get rid of those. The only thing that I dislike about this and the way it currently is, is that this wall needs to be up flush with the face of this wall right here. And we can do that fairly simply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and select on where this wall is at. Next, I'm going to use the Move command. I'm going to click the intersection here and come up to the intersection of this right here. And you can see how the curtain wall assembly has now moved itself up, so it's now lined up into the proper location. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see it a bit better. And let's take a look at it in a 3D view from the outside of the building. If I spin this building around, you can see that we now have a nice big window down here that's letting in a lot of light into our space. The only, what I'll call problem that's related to this, is if I select on this word right here that says back, and then zoom in, you can see how part of the siding here is actually covering up our curtain wall assembly. 
And if I just move my mouse so it's to on the outside edge of this curtain wall, you can see how high up my curtain wall assembly goes. So in order to be able to make that adjustment so that I don't have that siding covering it, plus the siding is covering a little bit of this window as well, we'll just move this particular thing of material up. In order to do that, if you select on the window or the wall up above, zoom in, you'll then see this down arrow right here. Well, if you click and hold your mouse button down on it, you can drag that up until it kind of locks in place right above where that curtain wall assembly is going to be at. Now I'm going to let go. If we zoom back, we can see it's still covering our foundation wall, but it's now up high enough that it's finally over the top of our curtain wall assembly and it's in the right location for uh, the look that we want to have on our house. Now I want to add another curtain wall on the level up above. So I'm going to come up here to their first floor and take a look at what we have so far. What I'm going to need to do now is I'm going to need to draw a curtain wall that's going to go from essentially the same spot from here over to here. But there is another option, and let me go ahead and show that to you. I'm going to close the first floor plan, and we can see that we have this curtain wall assembly that shows up here down on our lower level. Well, if I highlight on that curtain wall assembly so the entire thing is highlighted like this, I can use something called the copy command. In this case, it's copy to clipboard. And I'm just going to select on that off of our ribbon. Next, there's an option here that's called paste. Now, this is different from the old Windows function of control V for paste. If you select on the word paste, you'll see that there's an option here called align to selected levels. And that's going to be what I choose. What level do I want to bring this curtain wall assembly up to, is what the question is being asked. And in this case, I'm going to bring it up to our first floor. And I'm just going to click on OK to that. It might need some adjustments after the fact, but we'll go ahead and do that and we'll see what happens. See how the entire curtain wall has now been copied from the basement level up to the level up above? And that's what we want to have happen. We can also see that this happens to be hosted on the first floor, which is what we want. It's going up to the top of plate, which is top in this case, which is also what we want. The only thing that I'd like to change just a little bit is I don't really like this negative one foot three and three quarters dimension here. This should really be something that's uh, a little bit more of an even number in this case. So I'm going to make this just be negative one foot and click on apply. It gives this little section of window a little bit more height and just makes the atrium window look a little bit better but it's still low enough that our atrium window isn't going to be cutting through our ceiling and that sort of area uh, a little bit later on in our project. Now let's take a look at this uh, in our plan view so we know that it's in the right location. So I double clicked on the first floor view right here. We'll take a look at this. See where our atrium window assembly is actually located at. Now what it appears to be is that this atrium window is coming right out to this point right here. And to be able to better see that, we can come down to our visual style and change this to be shaded. It's going to give us some color. And because of that, we can see that our curtain wall assembly, which is mostly white here, this is our glass panel, isn't coming out all the way out to the edge where the siding is at. So, um, you know, it, it can be debated that maybe it should stay right there, but I like to bring this out to the edge of our building if we can. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, select on this and I'm going to once again use that move command in order to be able to bring this out so it's out toward the outer edge of our building. And then if we take a look at this in the 3D view, we can see that we have our nice atrium window assemblies. And if we spin the building around a little bit, you can see how we can see through that because that is a glass material and has very similar properties to our windows. So by doing these steps, you can place an atrium window in and create these very large windows that are uh, much more user-friendly than a lot of these uh, typical windows that you might get from Revit. But there is one more thing that we uh, need to do on this. We need to add some doors that are going to be leading out from this location out to our outside part of our building. In order to do that, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the, the tab key when I get to the outside edge of this window right here. I'm going to click, and you'll get this little, I'll call it a pinhead. And if you click on the little pinhead, we now get an option up here. By selecting on that, we'll find that there's actually a door option available to us here. 
If we just simply had selected on doors underneath here, it wouldn't have allowed us to place it in here because technically this is not the kind of wall that a door would go into. So what we had to do is select on this, click on the pin in order to get to the different types of door types we can insert into our project into this big atrium window that we have. So I'm going to select on the storefront double door and you can see how it automatically inserted that door into this panel. Now the final thing that we need to do is to zoom in down here at the bottom, click on this little piece right here because we don't need this mullion at the bottom. I'm going to click on the little pin head and then I'm just going to hit the delete key on the keyboard. That'll get rid of that little mullion at the bottom and drop our doors down to the appropriate elevation. And uh, as a result of that, we now have a nice walkout basement with a nice big atrium windows in the back of our house.